Makai, wild match. Great finish on the takedown at the end. But about 30 seconds before that, he got in on you and got your leg up in the air. What was going through your mind at that time? Oh, it just feels like another practice. I get in situations like that with a couple of my teammates like Dave, my Zach Zavaxi. So I knew what I had to do in that position to get out of it. I was just waiting for the perfect opportunity. And in the end, I mean, I got out. One thing that's not like practice is 15, 18,000 people around you in the atmosphere and everything else. Did you feel that or notice it at all or, or no? Uh, yeah, I wanted to get out there before the match and kind of like soak it all in. Yeah. Because it's like my first experience. And I'm grateful to be uh, wrestling in this tournament. So I was really like, excited to like get the feel before the match. And then as the match is going, it's just getting louder and louder to the point where you can't even hear your coaches. So you're just out there wrestling on your own at one point. And then that's what I did. I think you got in on the leg there and then he looked like he was almost out of bounds. How'd you kind of pull him back in to get that takedown? Honestly, I don't even know. I was, I was just happy that I did pull him back in because um, I ultimately won the match. But um, I just remember practicing sometimes. In practice, just pulling people back in on the edge. And I just remember my coach just kept telling me, stay low and just bring it back in. Say little, bring back in. So that was basically what was going through my mind. Everybody knows he's really heavy on the head during the match. Now you wrestled him at the World Trials. Did that experience help you prepare for what you went through tonight? Yeah. This morning. Uh, it helped me a lot because I already knew how he was going to wrestle. And I already know he knew how I was going to wrestle. I knew it was going to be a tight match. It's just um, whoever wanted it more. And um, just to keep fighting through, I knew it was going to be a battle. So. Ultimately, I knew going in, just hand fighting, was going to be the key to winning that match. And um, I felt like I did a very good job hand fighting with him because we was both tired at the end of the match. So. I know you said uh, last night you didn't want to make too big of a deal of, of this match, but I guess it's a big deal now, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, but like, I, like, uh, I don't really like making big deal, a big deal out of matches because at the end of the day, I'm going to see them a whole bunch of times, so it's just another match. What was it like at the end? So you did win, you get to relax and hear this place going nuts. Oh, it was crazy, that was, wow. I was, I was, I was excited, because usually I don't celebrate after a match. And when I heard like how loud it got, I was just like, I gotta celebrate. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was pretty cool. And it was, uh, it was, it was just different, like a different, different uh, atmosphere and I like it. Does a match like that kind of take on a, a, a whole different meaning, a whole different animal? I mean, you try not to make any match bigger than another one, but a match like that, does it, does it get bigger? Um, um, not really, because, like, I wrestle people that's just as good as him in my practice room. So, that, like, and my coaches always tell me that, um, just that don't worry about the match. Just go out there and just have fun. So basically, like, long as I'm having fun. fun. Is the atmosphere, does it remind you of your state tournaments? Does it remind you of Boardwalk Hall a little bit? Oh, uh, yeah, but it's a uh, louder, surprisingly. <laughs> but not surprisingly, it's a bigger tournament. But, um, yeah, it's a pretty uh, good experience. I saw some Jersey people in the stands yelling out my name, so it's pretty good.